Hey guys, so a couple weeks ago I went on a little adventure with some buddies. We went to Ontario, we caught some fish, we brought that fish home, I smoked it, I cooked it, and brought some to a buddy of mine who did some cooking as well. So I want to show you what all went down, and that adventure starts right about now. I'm Josh McFads, and I like to cook. Interlaced with my love of food is a love for the outdoors, and I kind of like it all. I want to share my adventures, the foods I love to eat, how to prepare them, and introduce you to some of my friends along the way. Pull up a chair around the fire, enjoy the scenery, and stick around for the food. fish on the ice or we've, we've caught a few fish anyway we've got a really nice we've got a really nice uh, white fish on the ice that Andy caught and I'll probably want to do a little bit of slow-mo action with that we've got yeah you will Matty Opalco here again got it. Andy's cleaning up a little bit of slush over here and uh, you'll see a little bit of Will later he's hiding inside the, uh, the Eskimo right now but weather's super nice we've been practically fishing outside all morning and uh, we're marking lots of fish so we'll do a little bit of slow-mo action with that white fish soon and later we'll probably cook it up. Oh my gosh, okay. look, at that. look at that. That is a little bit of egg, some, some special leeks. special farmer sausage, some leeks. It's The farmer sausage is special because it's made by a farmer. It's true. So are the leeks though, come on now. Oh yeah, the leeks are also special, farmer leeks. Oh, dynamite. Boom. Looks dynamite. That's Will the Farmer, baby. Will Farmer sausage. That's what I'm talking like, about. Uh, oh, dude. I gotta get this fish in. There you go, buddy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hold on, hold on. Oh, no. Holy crap. That's a good walleye. Okay, buddy. Oh, boys. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that is a serious fish. Oh, my gosh. It's just so fat. Oh, look at the dorsal fin on that. There's like a busted up. Oh, that's a war horse right there, oh. eh? Whoa. Holy smokes! Oh, this nice thing is chunky! Okay, we should get some pictures with this thing. So I'm getting this whitefish ready to go in the smoker and I'll probably brine it for a really short amount of time and then smoke it. But if you can see, this is on the outside of the filet. You can see on the outside, against the skin, there's this red stuff and it's really fishy. You want to trim that off. It comes off super easily. It's super soft because it's an oily fish. So what you start to notice is that as you're going um, and cutting through the filet and your hands warming it up a little bit, it gets pretty greasy and oily. So you just want to Make sure you trim all that stuff off. You don't want that flavor or that taste in your fish. Once it's clean, it'll be a really nice white piece of meat and you can brine it, you can cook it, you can fry it, you can do whatever you want with it. This one's going in the smoker though and I wanted it skin off just so that we could eliminate all that fishy taste. Smoke it, dry it, it'll be salty, peppery and it should taste pretty darn amazing. So again, remove that junk. So here we've got two white fish fillets and two walleye fillets. I just threw them in the brine because I had them, but I will uh, toss these on the smoker for a number of hours. Oh yeah, and before I put it on there, there's a little bit of pepper going on top, maybe a little dusting of salt, but the brine that I had was pretty salty. So I'll avoid the thinner portions where the belly and the stomach are with salt. And I will just hit up the harder, the, the thicker stuff with salt and then hit the whole thing with pepper. Okay, 
so I just uh, got home after being out for a few hours. I had this smoker going the whole time, so it's a little bit sunny right now. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, let's check out what happened to this fish. We're gonna see it at the same time. Boom, there it is. It's still pretty warm in here. I think the fire's kind of gone out. Oh man, that is looking really good. So it looks like it got, you can see the smoke coming off of it. Looks like it dried out uh, significantly well. It's nice and smoked looking. It's got that color. I think we'll take it inside and have a little bit of a bite. So what we're doing is I'm sitting outside of this apartment building um, where a friend of mine resides. He's an amazing chef. He's a sandwich guy. If there was anyone that I know in this city that makes sandwiches and makes the best sandwiches, it's this guy. He knows how to handle meat and he knows how to handle food. And he can make some really beautiful looking stuff. So I reached out to him and told him that, hey, I've got this whitefish that I smoked plus a little bit of walleye and I need this stuff turned into something awesome. So. Tyrone is the guy and the gentleman who's going to be doing this uh, this cooking session for us and he just has a totally different style than myself and he's going to show us how to do something really cool with this white fish and this smoked fish. I think you're going to like it. He went and bought some really interesting ingredients that are going on this thing. His wife Chloe as well is a baker and makes some of the coolest and most tasty bread products. She's got this like really cool like rustic flair to the way that she makes stuff which I really like. We're gonna go up there. We're probably going to get into the drinks a little bit. I've got a little bit of this, uh, all right, a little bit. I've got a bottle of this Jack Daniels that Graham hooked me up with, and we're gonna make a drink. We're going to have some smoked walleye and whitefish dishes prepared. Probably just one dish. We're gonna have a dish prepared and eat it. I'm gonna go up and see what we can make. Yeah, but don't feel weirded out about it. You good? <laughs> I'm standing in your apartment. You're gonna cook this fish. I just caught this uh, white fish, brought it up to the apartment here. It's looking amazing. And Tyrone is going to help us cook it up. So what are we making? Uh, so whenever uh, I have my hands on some smoked fish, uh, I immediately think of eggs. Um, so we're gonna do smoked white fish on a soft scrambled egg uh, with white fish caviar. Amazing, let's do it. Well uh, we'll flake fish, uh, we'll slice the bread, we'll get that toasting. While the bread's toasting, uh, we'll get the eggs in the pan, and we'll start our scramble. What's special about the bread? Chloe. Uh, <laughs> it's just a rye sourdough. And you made it mm -hmm. with your hands. Mm -hmm. In your oven here? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna get some shots of that bread because it looks really pretty. But Did you, did you clean this fish? Oh, okay. So know. here's the deal. I don't know, chef. Yeah, so uh, I left the Y bone in that because it made the fillet look prettier. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm sorry, oh, cool. I screwed that up. You can edit that part. Right? Well, it's okay if we have it in there. So I forgot to mention that I left the Y bones in this fish, and that's one thing you have to be careful with. Um, you don't want to kill somebody by having them choke on Y bones, and very similar to a pike or a laker, whitefish have these Y bones in them. So you want to take that out probably prior to smoking it. But if you didn't. Then you just find yourself a really handsome chef with some cool tattoos and he'll do it for you. <laughs> Thanks, man. It looks like we have a pile of fish here. Tyrone says it doesn't have to look very pretty at all. And he successfully made it look not pretty. <laughs> I think it looks good. Well, oh, I forgot to mention too, we're cooking uh, with drinks in our hands. And we've got these beautiful looking Negronis made with a little bit of uh, Campari, some vermouth, and that stuff over there. Single barrel Jack Daniels. And a little orange. Okay, so we got a little bit of green grass, some chive. This is pretty much everything we need. Amazing. Uh, we have the caviar, and I also add a little bit of cream cheese to the eggs. Okay, so we're toasting things old school. We've got the a nice layer of butter on both sides of that thing. It's going in the cast iron skillet, 
Let's get toasted up. And got a little bit of cream Philly. cheese. Philadelphia. So do you want to explain what a soft scramble is? Uh, so basically you just want to keep my pan temperature fairly low. Just a little bit of butter. That's what you call a little bit of butter when you're a chef. Right there. Good dollop. Just a small dollop. Just a five finger pinch of butter. And then after the butter, what, melts or what are we looking for? Yeah, once this butter melts, I'll add my eggs. Oh yeah, that's good. a nice, yeah, that's looking amazing. So you want that bread greasy. I mean, that's what we want. That's what I want. Are you scrambling the eggs first before putting them in the pan? Uh, no, I'm just gonna drop my eggs in there. Nice. And I'm assuming that a nonstick pan. Philadelphia cream cheese. Where's that from? Uh, from the furthest reaches of uh, Philadelphia. Okay, so eggs go in. Yeah, real low. You gotta treat these things special. Great. And use uh, like a firm rubber spatula so you can like scrape the sides of that pan. You don't want your eggs to be sticking to the pan and. Yeah, it's gonna take. It's gonna take a few minutes. And you're not scrambling because you're bringing the temperature up nice and slow. Yeah, you just wanna be patient with them. Look at this. Amazing. See, so yeah, just this like soft, creamy texture. We added a little bit of salt at the end. I think we might've missed that part, but they're salted. It's getting scraped off onto the toast. So now we just plate it up, make it look pretty. Once even the heat of the egg is hitting that fish, you can really smell it. Really start to smell the smoke. Yeah, so look at that. Smell. So add a little of the white fish caviar. By a little, I mean, you can be as generous as you want. That looks pretty good, right? Insane. And the final touch. Jeez. A little bit of oil on there. That's it. My goodness. Okay, so I think we're going to take some pictures of this and then uh, dig in. Grab a bite, tell me what's all going on in your head, and then I'll take a bite and see what happens. You don't have to feel too self-conscious about this part. Crazy? Good. Okay, I gotta get a piece. Oh man. Not bad, eh? Crazy. So simple, it's ready to Jeez. Because the white fish isn't fishy at all. No, it's, it's super. It's smoky. Texture. It's super clean. This is like the chewiness of the bread. I'm getting, like the warmth is just even like perfect right now. Like it's not hot, right? That scrambled egg is just silky, it's warm. The way that the egg, like you were mentioning, heats up that fish and makes that smoke more prominent as you're throwing it in your mouth, you can smell it. Unreal, like I could eat that all day. Super rich, Very rich. right? Very rich. This was with the white fish. What we want to do is make another one. It'll pretty much look the same, but we're going to do it with some walleye. Um, it's kind of the most common fish that people are catching. And the whole goal here is to get people to feel inspired, to cook something a little bit different, a little bit unique. It's so simple. You can get this stuff at any grocery store. This is something that anyone can cook. It's super simple. It just takes a little bit of extra care. Man, let's do this. Yeah, let's do this walleye one and get it over with. All right, I hope you learned something. That food that Tyrone made was insanely good. It was so simple. Anyone could make it. I would definitely encourage you to try it. Make it at home. Um, all you need is eggs and a little bit of smoked fish. Any, any fish also works. You can have some trout. You can have pike. You can have whitefish. You can have walleye, perch. Anything would work amazing. So give smoking a try. 
and then give cooking that wicked breakfast slash lunch slash dinner slash brunch dish a try. Um, don't be afraid to try something different. Give it a go. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit the subscribe button. I don't know which direction it is, but I have some other subpar, okay, kind of decent videos coming out. And you might just learn something. So keep on cooking and we'll see you soon.